Hi! This is Heidi Harner and I'm going to be continuing my videos for Cassie and anyone else who's watching about some basic uh, oil painting color mixing. So in my last video I was telling you about the three primary colors, a black and a white, and a warm and a cool of each primary color. This is just part of the uh, color palette today, your um, yellows and reds and black and white. So here I've got black that I mixed. I have Alizarin Crimson, the cool red, Cadmium Red Light, your warm red, Cadmium Yellow Medium, the warmer yellow, Cad Yellow Lemon, the cool yellow. And I'm just going to show you a couple of ways you can make some really beautiful orange colors with these. So I'm going to start with Lizard Crimson. And I wipe off my palette knife with every wipe of the or swipe of the color so that I don't dirty the other colors. And then I'll take my warm yellow, mix those in. It's a little strong on the red. Add a little more of this. It's a nice pungent bright orange and then I'm going to take Lizard Crimson again and the warm or sorry the cooler yellow mix those together a little more of that yellow I'm trying to get them to the same value so you can see the difference. This is a cooler orange compared to this, which is a warmer orange. Subtle, but very important. Now uh, I'm going to take my warm red, mix it with the warm yellow. It's much brighter almost fluorescent and then I'll take this cad red light with the cooler yellow you may not be able to see the subtle varieties on this video but I will try to show that later it's quite a bit cooler than this one now I'm going to add some white to this and white lightens but it also cools. Same with this one. A little too much white there. And if I can take a little bit of the black and I realize I'm not going to get all of these in here but you're starting to get the picture you make this nice murky earthy brown with your orange that you made and the black doesn't take much Not the prettiest colors on their own, but they sure do add a lot. Those little nuances that you get with mixing your own colors. So anyway, this is uh, just another great way to mix your own colors. They're so much more harmonized. That's a really nice tan right there. It's just so cool, all the colors you can make from these things. And there's just infinite possibilities. So don't ever paint out of the tube. Amateurs paint from the tube. Mix your own colors and you will be on your way to professional painting. And let's see if I can show you these. Pretty cool. 
All right, that's it for now.